Welcome back guys, we're back in with another Minecraft tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to change your server jar. By this I mean if you want to change to a different version of Java or you might want to change to Bedrock. Um, how to do that, delete your old files and get a nice new server to start playing on with your friends. So with that let's log into our ModCraft control panel. As you can see here I'm running paper 1.16.5. However, let's say I've had a change of heart and I now want to play a Bedrock version. Uh, all of my friends play Bedrock and we all want to join on together onto this server. So let's go ahead and change it over. First of all, and most importantly, make sure to actually stop the server before you do this. Once it's completely stopped, you're going to head over to files and then you're going to come down to setup. Now I would recommend clean mod directories and plugins and also delete all server files. That's only because if you're going to be loading um, a Java one and you've got Bedrock Worlds um, and other um, folders and files that aren't going to match, that might cause your server to crash. And if you want to keep a backup of your old server, just in case you want to come back um, and potentially open that server back up again, I'd go to files, go to backup. Um, you're going to create yourself a backup, which will make you a zip folder in your FTP file access. It'll usually be towards the bottom of your FTP file access folder. And what you can do there is you can just tick it to the top and then you can download the zip file. You can then keep that zip file. And then if you ever want to re-upload it, you can upload it on your server files again. However, for this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a straight setup. We're going to delete the server files, uh, leave it nice and fresh um, to start a brand new server with a different jar. Um, so go ahead and just pop in your password. Once you hit apply, um, you're going to see this tell you the template will clean the mod directories and plugins, delete all files, yes, run on every setup, no. Now, this will happen when you start your server back up. So if we go back to servers now, and this is where you're going to want to change the server jar. So I'm going to go from a paper 116.5 um, to a bedrock. Just make sure to hit save, although usually it will automatically save anyway. Once saved, you can just go up and hit start. So now if we go ahead, uh, log on to Minecraft, I've got test server, I've popped in the information, let's go ahead and join it. And as quick as that, you've changed over from a Java server to a Bedrock server. And there we go, brand new world on our Bedrock account. So thanks again for watching guys. If you are looking for any more tutorials like this, head on over to the Seeker host site. And not only that, you can grab yourself a server super quick and easily with no hassle at all. And you can get to hosting your own awesome server and playing with your friends. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Bye bye.